Hi folks, how you doing? Mike here from Observation Post Charlie. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, <clears throat> wanted to do a little chat. I had some comments on a couple of my videos about my gear, my gear selection. Somebody even made the comment that it looked old and mismatch. Well, yeah, it is old. It's like the old man that's using it. Unlike you, though, I bet you haven't used the gear in real life. And I don't mean running around the wood doing this LARPing, as some people call it. Um, I've used my gear under intense situations, and that's fine. Neither here or there. Um, my gear is set up for me, my situation, my area of operation. What I use may not be the same as you, and that's okay. All I'm trying to get you to do is think. Think. I want everybody to survive and thrive, okay? And be safe. It doesn't matter what kind of weapon you use. Somebody says, oh, you're going, you know, got the big beard. You're going to use an AR. And you got to use this scope. And you got to use this magnet. No, you do not. Bullshit. I even tell you to your face, bullshit. You use what you're comfortable with. You use what caliber you like. Uh, what, whatever your SOP is going to be in your plans. And they are as a fine weapon. It is. Nowadays it is. The A1s were shit. When we came out and, they, and we got the A2s assigned to us, that was a much better weapon. And the, M, the uh, M4s now, they're much better than when the A2s were. Those are facts. A1s sucked. They were just warmed over, hashed over ARs they had from Vietnam. And they sucked. We used to call them M, what was it, M16 Jamalots is what we used to call them. Jamalots. Because that's what they did. They jammed. You had to carry that tool to yank it out and all, you know. Eh, anyway. Uh, getting off subject. <coughs> my gear, okay. The reason I chose my gear is because, one, I've used it in real life situations. I know it works. Yes, everything is on my flick. Fighting low carrier. It's not the same as a chest rig. The flick is not the same as a chest rig. Okay, let's get that straight. That would be like saying a Y harness is the same as a chest rig. It's not. Totally separate thing. Totally different setup. Uh, what system you use is up to you and it's fine. It's okay. All I'm trying to do is get you to get what you think is best for you in your area give you some options okay always thinking always thinking plan A plan B plan C and so on have a plan sit down with your people somebody said well you only got a quart of water well yeah I've also got a, a collapsible two, uh, two collapsible canteen collapsible canteen two quart that I would sling over my shoulder and attach it to the back. But for my area, I'm edge of a suburb, okay, and I'm 20 miles from a, a, a big city, okay? So I got ways to procure water for my area of operations. If I was further out, it'd be a different situation. Yes, I could always carry more. I don't need to carry an assault pack. I'm not assaulting nothing. Okay. My SOP is recon, scouting, and defense work. That's what I'm doing. Scouting, communications, scouting, recon, communications, you know, patrolling, and defense. If it comes down to that. I'm not assaulting nothing. Therefore, I don't have to drop my assault bag. I'm not needing to. It's all in one contained unit. Okay? If I was in a different situation, I was moving about. Yes, of course. Sorry about that. Um, I'm not assaulting nothing. So I don't need an assault bag or a patrol bag. Eight to ten hours. Now I've got plenty on me. Somebody said, oh, it's too heavy. No, it's not. 24 pounds totally loaded out, it's between 22 and 24 pounds, that's not a lot. Maybe if you're out of shape or have some physical ailments, okay, maybe. 
I can run with it. I'm 60 years old. I ain't ashamed to tell you that. I've ruined every damn year of that. 60 years old. I can get out and patrol all day with that. I've done it many times. I still get out and patrol with it. I have completed two, not one, but two Norwegian put ruck marches in the last four years. I've also completed Modern Minuteman's 50 mile ruck march with 35 pounds, so don't give me that. You know, you're too out of shape, you can't do this, blah, 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 blah. Well, maybe you can't. That's on you, brother. That's not on me, so don't bring your shame on my game. I can do it. Don't worry about waiting on the old man. I'll be there. Okay, back on topic. Sorry about that. Got off topic. All I'm trying to do is get you to think. Think, 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 think. Plan A, B, C, and D. Always have multiples. Set your gear, and military surplus, there's nothing wrong with it. It's very uh, inexpensive. Good gear. And the new TAP system really ain't too much different than the FLC. It's just a modern take of. Or like the Rhodesians, I think. Modern men and men and a few other people, they use that. It's, it's just a the the tap system that's really what it is it's a it's a take of it um, so why do I have all my gear on my FLC well I can move with it for one I'm quiet I can be in it all day and it doesn't affect me so please don't get on here and try to bash me or belittle me just because you can't do it that's on you brother that should be telling me that a you got ailments or two you're a Larry Lardass and you can't move. And, uh, and for those folks that's overweight, I'm sorry, I'm not pointing this at you, but the few that's made some comments, you know. If you can't move, that's on you. And to you brothers and sisters that may be a little overweight or out of shape, keep at it. I've lost 35 pounds since January. Okay? I'm 60 years old. And I get out and I do this. I also have arthritis, but you know what? I still do it. I push on. But that's me. I've got to drive. So, on gear selection, set it up for you, your SOP, your situation with you and your team, your area of operation. It's going to be different than mine, maybe. Maybe. Maybe you're in the suburbs like I am. Look at my gear. It works. It's the same... Uh, well, well, yeah. It's kind of really the setup of what was used in Serbia. Even the early part of Iraq, Afghanistan, and all that, you know, until they come out with the TAP system. And some people still use the FLC. So, and those three compartments on the back, think of it as a waste pack, Molly 2 waste pack that's organized, or a butt pouch like we had on our Y harnesses. Our Alice, uh, Y harness gear, okay? We had butt pouches. The flicks, some units, they had the, the Molly 2 on their patrol pack, and they also had one down on their FLC. So to say they didn't do that is wrong. That just tells me you don't know what you're talking about. You can look it up in Army manuals. They did it. I think some Marines did it too. Who riled you guys, man? You guys are you know, all right in my book. I don't get in this branch of service and S, you know, MOS, you know, spats. I don't have time for that. I'm, I'm, I'm grown, you know. But I'm just saying, it was used. They do use it. It has been used. So, on your gear selection, if you want to buy something new and you've got the money to do it, God bless you. Use it. All I'm asking you is. Set it up, get it out, trial and error. See what works for you, what doesn't, and change it. Look at, just not my videos, a lot of other people. They get out and move with their gear. That's the thing you got to get out and move with it, get used to it, get comfortable with it. Know where it's at, have it organized what works best for you, okay? Um, even if it's just, I still got my old Alice gear. I, I still use my old Y harness. I'm not giving it up just because it's... 40 plus years old still works you've seen me in some of my other videos with it still works the FLC is just you know slip it on boom I'm ready everything's ready to go okay 
That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. Uh, so, please, look at my gear, look at other folks' gear, make your own mind up. What works for you, works for you. Your air, just be thinking. That's all I'm trying to get you to do is think. And, and don't tear somebody else down because their gear is not set up as you, the same as yours. That's nonsense. That's childish. If it works for them and they can make it work, let them run it. Let them rock with it, okay? All I'm saying is get out, get used to your gear, get used to moving with it. Okay? And I guess that's about all I got to say. Again, there's nothing wrong with military surplus. Just because it's a little older, you can dye it with writ dye or somebody said walnuts and stuff and, and that's fine whatever you choose dye it for your area you know if you're in a desert you definitely want to go with a brown midwest south and stuff like that, you want to probably go with a brown or a green or something like that main thing is you want to you want a natural wood wood um natural nature color i guess uh browns and greens okay there's not too many reds and purples and blues um so, nothing wrong with military surplus, whether it's U.S. or whoever you choose. All I'm asking is get out and use it, get familiar with it. Have a plan. Take a piece of paper. Sit down, write down. This is what me and my group is doing. This is what we're about. We're about, you know, what X, Y, Z, whatever you're sitting doing. Me, <clears throat> and my thoughts, modern, uh, modern men and men are partisan or whatever you want to call yourself uh, prepared citizen set your gear up for you what works in your area your area may be different than mine mine may be different than yours and somebody else's but somewhere out there in this big world of YouTube somebody's going to be the same as us and it'll give them a chance to look at it okay and with that Old Top's going to say, God bless, God bless America, and take care of yourself. Until next time, this is Charlie Post out.